So this is just a quick video on how to get your watch up and running once you take delivery. It comes in this nice little package here. And there we have the movement. First thing you're going to do is put the battery in that will be supplied. Make sure you put this in the right way around. I think you can only put it in one way to be fair, so you shouldn't have too many difficulties with that. And we're going to be displayed with four eights. That's just to verify that the displays are working properly. Next thing we do is put it in the little movement bracket. There is only one way to put this in, so that shouldn't be too difficult. And we now have our pre-prepared case. I'll be doing another video on how to prepare your case. One thing to be aware of here is make sure the buttons and the switches aren't clashing. It is possible to force the switches off if the buttons are in the way. Next step is obviously to screw down the case back. And once you've done that, you have your watch. And I'm just going to run through the features of the watch. Top right button, that's going to display time. That displays it for 10 seconds, obviously to save on battery power. We're going to press it again and hold down the bottom right button. This is going to cycle through date, year and moon phase. If we hold the top left button, we're going to go into time set mode where I can adjust the hours and the minutes using the bottom two keys. Once we're happy with our time, we're just going to leave the watch alone and it's going to save it to the memory. There we go. If I, put the, if I press the top right button again, there we have the time. Now, you can also see the date there, which is what I'm going to change next by holding down the bottom left button. We're displayed with D set and we've got 18th of June at the moment, so let's just change this on. Same as before, once you're happy with your date, don't touch anything and we'll go on to the next screen where we can change the year. You can move up and down with this leave it again and then you can choose the format of the date either date and month or month and date so I left it there as date and month because I'm in the UK if you are in America which I think is the only place that does it the other way around you go through the same screens again leaving the date and the year this time and we just press the bottom right button and you can cycle between date and month or month and date once you're happy with the one you want to keep, you just leave it alone again and it will save that. And that's all there is to it. it. It is obviously possible for you to create your own functions for this, and that's kind of the fun of this watch. But this has just been an overview of the software that's going to come pre-installed on your watch. So I hope you found this video useful. I hope you're looking forward to receiving your watch, and I can't wait to see what the community creates with this. Thanks for watching.